Thanks so much for stopping by, everybody. This is Budget Wine with Bacchus Bruce. Really pleased to have you here this afternoon. Have a terrific white wine to enjoy and try, something uh, I've never had before. It's a uh, uh, Fiano. The name of the varietal is Fiano, and it's uh, coming out of a winery called the Masseria Altamira, which is in the uh, Puglia region uh, of southern Italy. Uh, really exciting about that. Uh, the uh, Fiano is uh, one of those grapes that, uh, if you track back history, it really goes back literally to the ancient Greeks. Uh, super fascinating uh, little story behind the wine. The, uh, the Masseria was bought in the year 2000 by uh, Zonin uh, 1821, a, a large uh, conglomerate uh, of wineries uh, there in Italy, and uh, proceeded to really kind of upgrade the, the whole operation. So they uh, really updated the, the winery itself, and they also upda updated the vineyards, and they introduced a Fiano, which uh, historically has just not really been a winner of a wine grape. Uh, it's it's prone to uh, oxidation in the winemaking process. It's uh, a low yielding wine, uh, and it's really hard to uh, make any money on it. It's it's not really profitable. It's interesting, but uh, the wine business is all about making money. So Zonin uh, said, "Let's go ahead and just see if the market might be there." So of course, you're always three or four years out from planning uh, to actually harvesting grapes, and. Um, so we have the Fiano. They also have uh, several other varietals as well. And a really, really fascinating, uh, if you do want to take a look at their website, they've got some beautiful video that they put up there uh, of the winery and of the uh, surrounding area. Uh, you're right behind uh, the Ionic Sea on one side, the Adriatic on the other. It just seems like an absolutely gorgeous place, some place I'd certainly like to visit. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about the wine a bit. So uh, 2014, I did a little bit of reading on Fiano. It's one of those wines that um, kind of reminds me of Gruner Veltliner, which actually benefits with time. Uh, typically not um, a really uh, full style. It tends to be a little bit more of a lean, um, kind of moderate acid wine. So uh, let's go ahead and see what we have on the nose here. And it's, uh, as, as you can imagine, uh, uh, kind of an earthy style, a really uh, notable um, kind of a wet slate component. There also is a little bit of a citrusy note, of getting a little bit of lemon and lime, uh, but not too much. Uh, there's also an interesting kind of nutty component to it, which is uh, very terrific. Uh, what I'm not getting is a lot of upfront, really kind of juicy fruit. It's uh, not gushy at all. Um, I'm imagining it's going to be a pretty austere style. So let's go ahead and see what we have on the palate. And wow, it is minerally. It is uh, clean and it is devoid of ripe fruit. It is absolutely uh, all texture. So you have um, kind of a, again, a noting component. So I'm getting uh, maybe a little bit of pistachio uh, with that. Um, maybe a little bit of almond as well. Um, getting a wonderful mouth feel. It's, uh, it's kind of got a textural uh, feel that's, that's really kind of sensual and, and nice. Um, not a really, uh, even a moderate acid, I would say probably a lower acid wine, um, but what it does have is really a lot of terroir. So it's really uh, kind of got a stoniness to it. Um, I'm kind of imagining uh, the soil kind of being granite, uh, hot, and uh, absorbing a lot of mineral which are sure, sure coming through in the wine. Uh, very terrific. Uh, something that you don't run into every day. So um, the 2014 Masseria Altamira, uh, Puglia region of Italy, uh, coming out of grocery outlet, $3.99. Uh, I mean, really just kind of uh, absurd for a wine. That's truly a wine of interest. Uh, do a little bit of digging on, uh, on this particular varietal. Uh, lots of fascinating backstory. Goes back literally to the dawn of <coughs> civilization believe it or not. So thanks again for stopping by. Budget Wine with Bacchus Bruce. Always pleased to have you here. Thanks so much for uh, spending some time with me. Have a wonderful rest of your day.